living as a model inmate, even saving the life of a guard. He was loved by many and leaves behind numerous friends. The world is not safer because of his execution and justice was not served tonight. Strong words from one of Edmund Zagorski's attorneys after his execution. The electric chair was used for his death for the first time in a decade. News 4's Brittany Weiner has been at Riverbend Maximum Security all night long. She heard from witnesses, including Zagorski's attorney, shortly after he was pronounced dead. Witnesses say that Zagorski was smiling pretty much the entire time until his face was covered for the execution. They say there were two long jolts and then he appeared to be dead. He said, let's rock. Edmund Zagorski's last words said while smiling at his attorney. And he said the last thing he wanted to see was me smiling. And so I tried very hard to do that. Zagorski, who has been on death row since the 80s for killing two men, was executed by electric chair in front of five media witnesses. And he uh, was grimacing as they put the sponge over his head. He alternated between smiling and grimacing. The witnesses say there appeared to be two major jolts. He rose up against the restraints um, during while the voltage was flowing and then his body would relax down again. His face was covered, so witnesses say it was too hard to tell if he was in pain. The energy cuts off and we sit there and uh, in stillness and, and watch his fists still clenched with that one pinky uh, off the edge of the chair and uh, sit there for a good long while looking for any signs of life. Zagorski was pronounced dead at 7.26 p.m., his attorney giving strong words about the execution. The state must find a better method of execution that comports with the innate dignity of all human beings and the constitutional protection from torture. The family members of Zagorski's victims that were here tonight chose not to make a comment after the execution. Tom and Tracy. Brittany Water, thanks. Across town, a church holding a vigil for Edmund Zagorski as a protest against the execution. The crowd gathering at West End United Methodist Church, where the community is against the death penalty. Regardless of how folks feel about the death penalty, the reality of it is it takes decades um, to, to be carried out if it's carried out. Um, and that's very, very damaging, I think, for victims' family members who are trapped in that. The night ended with the group lighting candles and waiting for news that the execution was finished.